read a little section called what if I told the Jew that you were a genius here he discusses how some prominent white people are stereotypical geniuses and have the audacity to equate black people with as just entertainers yes he tried to you know cover it up by calling them entertainment geniuses nevertheless he perpetuated a stereotype that black people don't have high IQs stereotypically and people don't think of them as such as a black reader it was disheartening and shocking as someone who calls himself of the boy with the broken brain he was lambasted and ridiculed has the nerve to ridicule black people how dare you patronize us and put us in a different category as if we there are no great inventors entrepreneurs with high IQs there was a man who started open heart sir was the first black person or first person in general to actually perform open open heart surgery named Charles Drew. I'm actually not gonna get into the history of it because there are so many examples of black doctors, engineers, inventors, um, mathematicians. Uh, There's a Nigerian guy who actually helped develop the framework for the human computer. And he's going to name black people as LeBron James, Beyonce, and Oprah as maybe low IQs, but they're entertainment geniuses. How dare you? How dare you? So I had enough. Um, And as you can see here, I actually emailed them to say this. Um, As you can see, I emailed them here and I said, um, that Jim Quick had nothing to say about the current Black Lives Matter movement. He just posted a black box, which I thought was really unsettling. Um, he's supposed to be a proponent of equality, and he, but apparently he doesn't believe in black lives. And as Hassan Minhaj said, Asians love black excellence, but hate black struggles and don't want to acknowledge the things that we go through so I had enough and I emailed them it was just a generic email you are racist I then got a reply back asking why are you saying that I didn't show it here because I didn't think it was necessary and then I said Jim Quick has failed to address systemic racism and its ramifications on the human brain he had nothing to say about the current fight for human rights, aka black lives. And more importantly, in his book, he named white people as having high academic IQs and black people having other types of IQs. He went out of his way to only name black people. And it made me sick and disgusted. I couldn't finish and I really could not finish reading the book. He had a live PD. I wrote in my concerns. No one cared. I said I wanted a refund. Then... Um, someone replied back and said, we understand your concerns and appreciate your voice and your feedback. In the book, Jim mentions these other types of IQs in an effort to show that there are other types of intelligence. He didn't mean to separate those characteristics by race. I have known Jim for nearly six years and know that he does not have a racist bone in his body. He's the most equitable person I know. Our company includes people of all genders, races, sexualities, blah, 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 and it wasn't on purpose. I pass on your feedback to Jim and our team in regards to refund of the book, blah, 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 blah. So, as you can see here, she tried to make an excuse for Jim, saying he didn't mean to separate those characteristics by race. It doesn't matter what you mean to do. There is a stark difference between intent and impact. His intention may have not been to separate intelligences by race, but he did. So he needs to pay. Her knowing Jim for six years, who cares? Who cares? And do you really know he doesn't have a racist bone in his body? Are you inside of his body? How do you know? And then she does the stereotypical, our company includes people of all genders and races, which was not the subject of the matter. The subject of the matter was anti-black racism. I reply back with, um, 
I basically said the fact that you and I know there are errors in here I typed this on my phone thanks for reaching out the fact that you've known him for six years and that he hires people of all races does not preclude him from anti-black bias he separated IQs by race and underscore eugenics and scientific racism this is harmful to black readers and further perpetuates stereotypes portrayed in racist literature the fact that he hasn't publicly acknowledged his failures nor has he personally reached out to me signifies that he doesn't mind the racist propaganda he's making millions off of Furthermore, making excuses for his behavior and not accounting for the hurt that his words intentionally or unintentionally has bestowed on his readers shows me why America is the way it is right now. Congrats for standing up for racist behavior. Be blessed. Black readers matter. Honestly, growing up, I was an avid reader. I've since fallen off a little bit and I decided I would use a pandemic to, you know, freshen up my reading skills and the fact that this is the book that I pulled up and that's what I read on page 77 is debilitating at best black lives matter black readers matter and this is the things that we are bombarded with every single day and enough is enough I'm tired of it I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired and I don't think someone like Jim Quick should ever get you know a pass on this eugenics and scientific racism um, propaganda that he spewed intentionally or unintentionally. There have been books and studies and racist literature that continue to perpetuate the fact that we are not as intelligent. Black people are not as intelligent. Black people, we have different types of um, intelligence and this is unacceptable. We are inventors, we are leaders, we are kings, we are queens, we are more than you have ever imagined, and we are tired of being put in boxes. She then replied here, I completely understand your stance on this, and I've sent your recommendation over to Jim's editors, recommended they update that part to reflect anti-racist commentary. Thank you for your time. There are no apologies here, just a generic letter and i said to her in response that um and i feel very passionate about what i said back i said i would like a follow-up on what you decide and i don't like credit if they decide to change it there are many black inventors leaders and visionaries that he could have chosen to include in his genius section instead he assumed that his readers only think of white people as academic geniuses and black people as genius entertainers due to racist tropes as a black woman in america i deal with enough as it is it was debilitating to read that section in a place where i thought i would find refuge so here it is i decided to put this on blast because it's just another t- example of a microaggression that black people face and have to deal with every day. And I'm tired of being silent. I'm tired of people saying that I'm overthinking it because he did not need to separate geniuses based on race, especially academic ones. He could have mentioned other people. Whether or not the people knew about them is not up for discussion. Your anti-black racism roared its ugly head, and I'm here to cut it off. I hope that Jim Quick hears this and knows that enough is enough, and he needs to change that page and write a formal apology to all his black readers. Please stand with us. Black lives matter. Black readers matter.